this is Lou DiNapoli. Today I'd like to continue our discussion about the push buttons on the DS3 transmitter. These push buttons allow you to configure 85-90% of what you're going to need uh, for most applications. In particular, I'd like to talk about Mode 7 today and the things that you can do with Mode 7. Mode 7 allows you to correct for pressure offsets caused by things like a, an impulse line, a full impulse line, a remote seal capillary, if the transmitter isn't mounted level, things of that nature. It can do it without affecting the zero and full scale that you set in mode 5 and mode 6. All right, let's talk about this specific example. This example, I'd like to talk about a water tower. We've all seen them driving down a highway. We're 20 feet above the ground, and the water tower itself is 20 feet high. We're interested in the zero to 20 feet that's in the tower. We don't really care about the standpipe. We mount the transmitter at the bottom of the standpipe at ground level so we can see what's in the tank up above. Well, what we can do first is we must size the transmitter to handle whatever the maximum pressure is. The maximum pressure in this case, for this example, since we're 40 feet above the ground, will be 40 feet of water pressure. So we make sure that the capsule of the transmitter can handle that maximum pressure that's going to be seen. But we're still interested only in the 0 to 20 feet in the tank. That's what we want our 4 to 20 mils to represent. All right, what we can do is we can come into mode 5, and in mode 5, when the tank is empty, we know there will be 20 feet of water pressure on that transmitter. So we come into mode 5, set up 20 feet of water. We go to mode 6. Well, in mode 6, we know there's going to be 40 feet of water acting on that transmitter at ground level. So we set mode 6 at 40 feet. However, the display on the transmitter will read 20 feet of water when the tank is empty and 40 feet of water when the tank is full. That could be confusing to some people. Let's see how mode 7 can help solve that problem. First of all, there are three real cases that you would have for that water tower in terms of knowing the level in the tank itself. Number one, we have the standpipe full and the tank is empty. Number two, we have the known level in the tank. Hmm. Mode three, we don't know what the level in the tank is, but we still want the display to read zero to 20 feet. All right, let's look at those in detail. Oh, case one, scenario number one. The tank is empty, the standpipe is filled with water. All right, we said it was 20 feet high. We come into mode five, we set mode five at zero feet of water. We come into mode six, we set mode six at 20 feet of water, because that's what we want our four to 20 mils to be represented. We then come to mode seven. Well, mode seven, because of the 20 foot of standpipe that we have filled with water, Mode 7 reads 20 feet of water. We want to suppress that 20 feet of water that's in the standpipe. We're only interested in the 0 to 20 foot level that's in the tank itself. So what do we do? In mode 7, we hold down the plus and minus buttons simultaneously, and electronically, we will suppress the 20 feet of water that's shown by seeing 20 feet of water, 15 feet of water, 10 feet of water, 5 feet of water, boom, zero feet of water. Now the display, when it's reading pressure, will be zero feet of water when the tank is empty and 20 feet of water when the tank is full and it follows the mode 5 and mode 6, zero to 20 feet of water that we've set. Let's look at the second scenario. The second scenario, we send somebody up to the top of the tower and with a dipstick 
or a rock and a string, whatever, that technician determines that there are five feet of water in the tank at this moment in time. All right. Once again, we set mode five at zero feet of water. We set mode six at 20 feet of water. We come into mode seven, and mode seven is reading 25 feet of water. Well, we know there's five feet of water in the tank because we just measured it. So what do we do? We force the display in mode seven to read five feet of water. How do we do that? We use the down or decrement button, which is the right hand button, and we hold it down and we come from 25, 20, 15, 10, and we stop at five feet of water. Now we've suppressed that 20 feet of water that we know is in the standpipe, and what we have left is the five feet of water we have in the tank itself. Let's look at case three. Case three, we have no idea what's in the tank. We really don't. Can't send anybody up. Nobody's willing to go up to the tank. We don't have a way of getting in there to see what the level is. So what are we going to do? Well, the only thing you can do is measure very accurately with a tape measure, laser, something very accurate, what the standpipe height is. Let's assume that we measure that standpipe height, and it is 20 feet high. So we know that 20 feet of water is being caused by the standpipe itself. Once again, we're interested in the zero to 20 feet in the tank, so we set up mode five is zero, mode six is 20 feet of water pressure. We come into mode seven, and we see 25 feet of water pressure, which is what the transmitter has acting on it at this moment in time, and we know that the standpipe caused an offset of 20 feet of water. So what do we want to do? We want to suppress that 20 feet of water. So once again, we use the down button and decrement down 20 feet. Since it started at 25, we decrement down till we are at five. We have five now showing in mode seven. We come out of mode seven, we will see five feet of water in the display and the four to 20 mils will be based upon the zero to 20 feet of water that we set up in modes five and six. I hope you can understand and appreciate the power that mode seven has for you in most applications. Thanks for your time. If you ever need any help with transmitters, don't forget us at tech support. Thank you.